So do you think people will be able to guess where we are based on the landscape? I'm not too sure. It's quite foggy right now. Hmm, where could we be? What could be off in the distance? Good question. Should we tell? Yes. It is Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. That is Machu Picchu, guys. Breathtaking, is it not? Baby llama having breakfast. Breakfast time. Can you give us an update on the current situation? So the current situation is that it has stopped raining yes. and it's starting to clear a bit. We're hopeful, it's right now it's 8.36 and we're hopeful that maybe around 10 or 11 if it doesn't rain again that we'll have some a nice sunshine clear, and a clear visibility of Machu Picchu. Get those Pichu. iconic views. We know that the Quechua people were able to mummify people but they used to mummify some important people from their culture. So they used to modify to the royal, to the royal family. They used to modify to some people who were part of the high class people. So then they take the bodies, the mummies, into the cave and they put them in a fetal position because they used to believe that they could enter to a different life after this life. The new hats, the chudos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the soldiers possibly use this to place the torch, the fire. Okay, but also they could maybe place here a pet. So this was maybe a llama, or this was maybe one alpaca that they would use to sacrifice in one of the temples. So here we're checking out. An Inca toilet. Is it an ensuite? I'd say so. What are we doing, Audrey? Getting our Machu Picchu stamp. So, this one's yours. Goodie. Well, lucky for To my home. This is the living area. It still needs to be furnished and this over here is gonna be a little reading nook and I'm gonna put my books So we found a nice quiet spot here mm -hmm. and I want to know your impressions of coming back to Machu Picchu for a second time. Coming back a second time. Honestly, it's still amazing. It still impressed me. It still has that wow factor like six or seven years later. I think it's just one of those sites that is 
I don't know, so special. And also, it always looks different because the weather here changes so dramatically and it changes so quickly. So like when we first got here in the morning, it was super cold and foggy and we couldn't even see Machu Picchu. But now it's like the sun is starting to come out and the skies are starting to clear. So it's really cool just hanging out here for a few hours and seeing how it all changes. So yeah, I'm glad I came back. Okay, so Sam, you visited Machu Picchu about six years ago. How yeah, sure does this trip compare to that <laughs> one? This is like night and day. Six years ago, I was the ultimate cheapskate backpacker. I came to Machu Picchu using the cheapest transportation route possible. Basically, I took this van on this like really twisty serpentine off-road area. Then I went across on this cable car using this wooden trolley. It was really dangerous. And then eventually we did a bit of walking and took a train to get here. And I was so cheap at the time that they have these little buses that ply up and down to get up to Machu Picchu. Mm -hmm. And I was so cheap that I ended up walking up and down that big hill. And it was like exhausting. By the time we I actually got to Machu Picchu, I was already tired. Yeah, because that's a 25 minute bus ride. So <laughs> yeah. walking that would be a couple of yeah. hours. Yeah, and it's like, it's like up like that so yeah completely different experience this time around it was nice to do it using the actual Inca trail staying at a little bit of a nicer accommodations and coming to see the Machu Picchu with the guide this time around okay so now next question I know people always see Machu Picchu in documentaries postcards magazines do you think it's important for people to see it in person? Like, yeah, does it... absolutely. It's it's actually one of these these wonders of the world that actually lives up to its reputation. Mm -hmm. And what I really think, like, what I really get out of coming to Machu Picchu is just a sense of the sheer scale of the place. Like, it is massive. When you come here and walk around, you get a really good sense of just how big this this lost city of the Incas is. Woohoo! Go Machu Picchu!